Check it. All right, y'all, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we look at AMC and GME, our two favorite meme stocks. I'm gonna explain in this video, as promised, why we could not squeeze before. Why in 2021 and 2022, it was impossible to see a short squeeze. I don't know if those YouTubers believed it, if they knew or they just didn't understand, but why we are actually closer to a short squeeze. And hopefully after this video, you will be convicted and as convinced as me. There is nothing anyone could say to show me that this short squeeze will not happen. And at the end of the video, you want to watch this whole thing because I let it tie it all together and explain the only thing you need to look for. So you do not want to miss a second of this video. You want to watch the whole thing. Trust me, it is filled with great information. I go through the TA for AMC and GME and the end and then talk about the macroeconomics, the liquidity, all the reasons why we are going to squeeze in the beginning. So let's go ahead and hop in this video and see what we have going on. All right, y'all, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to look at AMC and GME and focus on these two stocks. We're going to skip SPY in this update. Why? Because we need to talk about why we are actually close to the MOAS and why the MOAS could not happen in 2020 or 2021. Okay. It just couldn't happen. I don't know if People like, I don't even want to say names. You already know, Trey Trades. I'm going to just say it. Matt Kors. These people, the original people that I started watching before I decided to make my channel, I don't know if they truly believed. I don't know if they were in it for the money. I don't know. But the reason why I made this channel is because, one, I felt like they were literally in it for the money. I literally caught them up in so many lies. And just all of them, like all of the originals, Ke Keenan Grace, like all of the original guys that talked about AMC and pumped AMC, I felt like they were liars. I felt like I could do the TA better. So that is why I made this channel. But this is why we are actually closer to the squeeze than ever. And it could actually happen. And I think if you look at the charts and start to understand my mindset and where I'm coming from, I'm going to try to get you guys inside my head so you can understand why I am so convicted on this play and so convinced and so confident that I know it is going to squeeze. I might have a little bit of information that you guys don't, but I'm going to get you guys on the same page and hopefully we can all see this thing through. So let's go ahead and talk about why we are actually closer to the squeeze than ever. So the first thing I want to bring up, and again, I don't know if these YouTubers, like, I don't know if they believed it or they just didn't understand, but there was no way that the short squeeze could ever happen when they could borrow infinite money, okay? So the rates were less than zero. They were negative rates. So if you had collateral, you could put that collateral up borrow money at a negative interest rate, make money in the market, whatever the case may be, or or, or just, you know, there's di different ways to make money in the markets, bonds, different things like that. Make the money, you could literally with bonds, make risk-free return, and then pay the money back. So with bonds, just for example, with bonds, you could buy, you could loan the money, you could get a loan, you could go buy some bonds and then pay back the loan with the bonds. You could do this with stocks, you could do this with multiple things. Basically, it's an infinite money glitch. There are so many different ways, so many different things with credit that you can do. If you have good credit, if you have a lot of collateral, if you have money, if you have assets, all these things you can do that these hedge funds were doing to borrow infinite money. There was no way that the squeeze could ever happen while the rates were that low. There was no way it could ever happen. And I don't know if these original YouTubers didn't understand that, they didn't know, or they were just trying to pump the stock. I don't know what they were thinking, but they could borrow infinite money. There's no way you're going to squeeze a hedge fund out in a bull market while they can borrow infinite money, okay? First of all, it was a bull market. Like anything and everything went up every single day. Like we all seen it. If you guys were trading that markets, everything went up every single day. There is no way in heck that you were going to get a squeeze in that type of bull market with infinite money. Okay. How are you going to trap short sellers? And the reason why I think that we got the original run up, I don't even think that was, I think that was smaller hedge funds covering very small hedge funds, very small short positions, maybe even retail short positions, like larger uh, people, whales, retail, retail like that, short positions that covered 
and gamma. But if you looked at the short interest, the short interest never dried up. It went from like 21% when that squeeze happened down to like 15 or 10. It never originally dried up. I don't even think it got down to 10%. It went to like 15, 14% at the lowest. It never dried up. It is now at 20% as of now. That is one reason why we could never squeeze, okay? I'm also going to put technicals in this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover the technicals at the end as well. I'm not just going to leave it all in one screen, um, but I am going to uh, go ahead and finish this and then run through the technicals as well, just so you guys know. Um, but another reason why we could never squeeze is obviously the bull market I just mentioned and all of the rates being not raised they could borrow infinite money so infinite money glitch is reason number two or reason number one reason number two okay the reason number two that we can see a short squeeze is because the market is down the market is crashing you have these blue chips coming to the downside some of the blue chips are coming up to all-time highs now but you have blue chips the market coming to the downside you started to see a dry up of liquidity and you are seeing a dry up of liquidity and shares in amc and gme stock specifically okay with this lack of liquidity in the market the overall market and the lack of liquidity in these stocks because one retail is holding so much of these stocks and two retail has took it upon themselves to lock most of the share up of gme and some of amc in computer share i know some people have amc locked up a computer share but just holding it alone the float being held by retail not even having to be locked up but being held by retail alone makes a lack of liquidity so if the market overall lack of liquidity and then in these two stocks specifically the lack of liquidity that is why we can see a short squeeze and why we are closer to ever and why before we could not see a short squeeze like we can now now the play has developed where retail is holding 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 and we have this thing owned to about 80 to 90 percent in retail's hand and it probably the float is sold many times over actually if you see bbby that did prove that these stocks most likely we can prove with bbby that the float was sold many times over so we can assume the same thing for amc and gme and that helps make a short squeeze so lack of liquidity is one reason why we are closer to a short squeeze than ever and why we could not squeeze before was because the rates were not raised now the third major reason why we could not squeeze in 2021 and 2022 and why we are closer to a short squeeze than ever now is because the macroeconomics okay everyone was bullish in 2022 2020 uh 2021 2022 during the bull run during that massive run up after the COVID dip everyone was bullish okay the market was going absolutely insane there were different types of uh theories about growth plays and different stuff like that everyone was bullish all the stocks were going up you could not see a short squeeze like you can in the middle of a recession now they can call it what they want but we did have two periods of negative gdp growth we are in a recession whether the government wants to call that or not we are in a recession this overall macroeconomics with banks failing the collateral crisis the credit crisis all of these things are triggers for the am3 short squeeze and you might be confused and not understand well how does amc tie into all of this stuff but i'm sure you guys have heard all of the backstories about how the banks hold short positions and all this other stuff and how all the plumbing of the stock market makes these short positions so toxic and why banks failing why this could cause a massive short squeeze okay so if the banks fail if the hedge funds fail this could cause a massive short squeeze with their assets going down in value with their portfolios going down in value with margin calls coming this can cause a massive short squeeze and we could not see that during the midst of a massive bull run i don't think everyone understands all of these things hopefully you guys do i'm not trying to belittle you or anything like that but if you look at the bigger picture you'll finally see that all of these things are coming together and these are all things that if you look at the original apes theories these are all things that they said would come to fruition and they are now coming to fruition that is why we are literally closer than ever to a short squeeze we are now in a position where shorts are trapped the market is coming down, liquidity is drying up, the macroeconomics are bad, rates are raised, they cannot borrow infinite money anymore, and now we can actually squeeze the shorts. So that is why we can now 
see a short squeeze and why before we could not and i don't know why all those youtubers were pumping the stock this is why i truly truly believe in a amc and streaming short squeeze and also the technicals as well so just based off the charts so in my head i'm looking at all of that stuff okay i'm looking at how all of these pieces of the puzzles are coming together and now i'm looking at the charts and knowing what i know based off technical analysis and macro economics and macro technical analysis I can see that AMC is set up for a short squeeze now. I can see that GME is set up for a short squeeze scan now. And if we were going to have a short squeeze, the only other time it could have been is right here for GME during this point when we are in this massive bull flag and about to break out of this macro sloping resistance. And for AMC, the same thing when we are about to break out of this bull flag and break this macro sloping resistance. That was the only other time we could have seen a short squeeze other than this run up here if we just kept going and going and going and they didn't take the buy button. So now that we are near 52 week lows, retail is holding, RSI is low, technicals look right we broke the macro falling wedge the bollinger bands on the weekly time frame are constricting all of these things are telling me that amc is set up for a massive short squeeze as well as the psychology of all of this now you guys have to understand another aspect of all of these things is that they will lose everything when this short squeeze happens. They will lose everything. That's why they are doing psychological attacks on us and even putting out false information in the news. You cannot trust the mainstream media and anything they say. They said GME missed earnings, but GME didn't even have the earnings call. How can they miss earnings if they didn't even have the call? They are doing crazy things straight lying to you. They will do anything to keep their bag. They're going to lose everything when this thing squeezed, and they're also probably going to be exposed. They might even face jail time. So wouldn't you fight tooth and nail to keep that? But when this thing goes off, because they fought so long and kicked the can down the road so long, it is going to be the most immaculate, crazy, epic short squeeze that you have ever seen in your life but i hope you guys get there and the only way you're going to get there is if you have the conviction if you have the faith if you guys see the charts if you see the data and know like i do in your head that this thing is going to happen it's going to happen okay there is no one that can tell me any different i did all the research i did all the technical analysis and i see all the pieces coming together and all i got is time and i hope you guys are with me and holding with me so with that said let's go ahead and hop into the short uh the technicals on the smaller time frame for amc and gme see what we have going on and then go ahead and continue this video so guys as you can see amc is still inside this overall ascending triangle so this is an ascending triangle amc is still inside this ascending triangle we still look really good we had this false break to the downside but you always want to look for the confirmation of the rejection when you break to the downside as you guys can see just like the way we go to the upside you always want to look for confirmation so we break to the upside you want to look for confirmation that's your confirmation using it as support when you break to the downside you want to look for the same exact thing so if you have a technical pattern even if it's a bullish pattern like this uh ascending triangle which has a two out of three chance to breaking to the upside if you get a false break to the downside because sometimes these technical patterns do break down sometimes you have a bullish technical pattern and it will break to the downside but you always want to hold your guns until you see something like this until you see it come back up to that line and then get rejected from that line then you know it's all over but that is not what happened for amc we went back inside support and found support or we went back inside support and then used it as support and then went above and tried to break out now they are trying to keep amc down and gme down why because we are literally closer than ever to squeezing gme was gme was was minutes away from squeezing if gme had another net positive earnings call it was done for the shorts done for the shorts they already had like a 20 or 30 percent rally and we were already at 28 dollars if we had a 30 percent rally from 28 dollars we'd be well over that parabolic 30 dollar mark shorts would be head over hell into water and it would have been over that's why and i this is a little bit more tinfoil hat this is not confirmed. I like to stay with the facts, the data. You guys know that. But I have to speculate sometimes. I think they got to somebody inside the company or something to get the earnings call canceled. They maybe have gotten to the board somehow. And there are multiple ways to do that. Um, but they had to stop this. They had to stop this 
any way possible. And they are trying to just buy themselves time. Think about it on their side. They're just scrambling around, scrambling around, trying to buy time, trying to find ways to manipulate the stock, trying to buy time. All we have to do is wait and be patient. You guys can have peace of mind now that you understand, hopefully, and you have the conviction that I do because you understand the macroeconomics. You understand that with the raised rates, these things are causing shorts to have massive, massive pressures on their wallet, and it's causing them to squeeze literally what we want, okay? We couldn't have that happen with the infinite money glitch, okay? With all that stuff going on, we could not have it happen. So let's go ahead and hop into, again, sorry, I got a little off track, with the technical analysis on AMC on the small time frame, and then GME. So again, AMC is in this ascending triangle. Um, we found support, and now we are moving to the upside. So we still have that breakout target of that $5.50, $5.25 region. Also, we do have the bars pattern, using that as a guide and using the technical analysis as the uh, official narrative. As you guys can see, the bars pattern is... Uh, setting we're going to consolidate sideways and then get a break out to that 555 25 level and that is exactly what the technical analysis is saying and normally when the technical analysis confluence when i do this type of analysis and i use a bars pattern and then do technical analysis separate from that to try to find two different viewpoints and then the viewpoints have confluence normally that means that it's 100 accurate like i can say with confidence that it's definitely probably most likely going to happen i know that didn't make sense just now but i can say with confidence that is going to happen every time i make predictions with the bars pattern and then i do technical analysis separate and they both say the same thing i'm very very confident and it happens it happens almost every single time so guys we were looking good for this breakout to the upside of five dollars five dollars and fifty cents i'm thinking it could possibly happen tomorrow as this wedge is at the very tip of it and if we we so we should see this price action happen tomorrow if not we'll probably consolidate in this 450 430 range for the next couple of days until we see that breakout to the upside expanding this pattern out to a little bit longer so that's what i'm looking at for amc for the short term i'm looking for a breakout we are recovering as you guys can see when in doubt zoom out we had this overall downtrend for several weeks they were trying to uh, push us down but volume is absolutely drying up and again liquidity is absolutely drying up sellers are exhausted and the float is locked up by retail causing a massive short squeeze here very very soon so that's what i'm looking at on the macro for amc also we broke the uh falling wedge and we have bollinger bands constricting on the weekly time frame with green weekly macd last time we had those things line up we've seen the movements like this and this if you go ahead and look at the short interest we have 20.51 percent short interest fader livers is piling up every time fader livers pile up we see massive movements as you guys can see ftd's piled up here price marked in yellow we see this movement here ftd's pile up here price marked in yellow we see this movement here and ftd's are piling up more than ever so i think we are going to see a larger move to the upside than ever in my personal opinion you guys can see that cost of borrow is at 64 64 percent sitting at 64 percent is slowly rising putting more pressure on the shorts making it much harder to borrow this stock if you go ahead and look at amc's shares available to short it's only at 3,000. this is going to alleviate some of the pressure we see to the downside all those short ladder attacks and stuff like they do to do um, this falling wedge structure that they made here when they were shorting us down this type of attack here when they were shorting us down and using all of the short shares available to bar you can go ahead and rewind my videos to see that happen in real time that is not going to happen because the cost to borrow is going up and we have little shares available to borrow so we're going to see that short pressure alleviated and start seeing that movement to the upside for amc let's go ahead and look at gme on the smaller time frame and larger time frame and see what we have going on so gme is seeing a recovery as you guys can see, GME got this bottom right here off of 1989. Also, when in doubt, zoom out. You guys got to see that we are still in a overall uptrend. We broke this parabolic uptrend that we are in, this white uptrend that we are in. But if you look, we are still in a overall uptrend. You can see the bottom of $15. You can also see a higher low and now a higher low. So we have a higher high higher so a high then a higher high and what's going to happen next a higher high so we are going to get to that mark this is just setting us back a little bit they're trying to kick the can down the road a little bit longer but guess what 
this is like a spring. Every time they kick the can down the road, and ma they just make it worse for themselves. They are go making it worse for themselves because the pressure builds even more. The pressure cooker cooks a little bit longer, and this thing is going to absolutely explode even higher the more and more they kick this can down the road. They should have just covered in the beginning, and and because now now they're in such a mess. They should have just covered sooner because now they're in such a mess that th it's it's game over once this thing squeezes, and the numbers are going to be insane because they kept doubling down and doubling down and doubling down and kicking the can down the road and kicking the can down the road. We're going to see higher numbers because of it. So just in my personal opinion, what I'm going to do when I see dips like this and they kick the can down the road, buy more, especially at these lows. As you guys can see, AMC lows, I've been averaging down. As you guys can see, AMC is near 52-week lows, which is a sign of a short squeeze. GME is also near relative lows, especially that has been trading in the past couple of uh, months. You can see that we have seen much higher prices, so GME is at relative lows as of now, too. So again, GME is in a uptrend, when in doubt, zoom out. I do expect GME to recover. We need to break that $22 level. We have this micro sloping resistance here. Bollinger Bands contracting, telling us volatility is coming. Green MACD on the hourly time frame. This is telling me that a move to the upside is evident. If you go ahead and look at this trend line here that I'm going to draw, I do think that we are going to see a uptrend as this pennant forms. I'm going to go ahead and turn this yellow for you. And you guys will see that the pennant I'm talking about right here is going to be your pennant. Let's bring this back just a little bit. And then you guys can see this pennant right here, which is going to push us to the upside. So I do think GME is going to recover and see higher highs. I do think $28 is going to be beat. It's just going to take a little bit more time. We're going to get that recovery, especially once we get more news about what's going on. They're trying to get Ryan Cohen in as ceo i do believe but we're going to get more news about this and see what is going on but all i'm saying is i think this is all more psychological games and again obviously what it is for sure is them kicking the can down the road which is going to cause a higher short squeeze in my personal opinion once this pressure cooker cooks even longer so guys i am positive i am hopeful Hopefully, you guys see all the reasons why I'm hopeful and positive on this video. Hopefully, you guys, you see why I'm so convicted. In the first half of the video, I explained why we are closer than ever to a short squeeze. I hope that made sense to you guys. Lack of liquidity. They had infinite money glitches. The market and then their portfolio going down. And when you have that many assets, like I could go on and on and on about that. But when you have that many assets, you can just keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. Now that their portfolios are going down in value, now that the liquidity is drying up, now that they can't borrow infinite money, now that the float is locked up, now that the liquidity on these two stocks specifically are locked up by retail, we can see a massive short squeeze bigger than ever. Shorts are trapped. So the only thing you really need to look at the price now is irrelevant. The only thing you really need to look at is short interest. And I know it sounds dumb. It's one of the things that the original people say, did shorts cover? No. If shorts don't cover, the play's not over. That's, that's literally it. Shorts covering is the one thing I'm going to look for to know if the play is over. If, if you come to this thing and it says like 5% short interest, the play's done, all right? The play's done. That means shorts covered somehow, okay? Shorts are not going to be able to cover with a short squeeze. So, guys, if the shorts don't cover, the play is good. Hopefully, you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. And remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Instagram for even more content. They're linked down in the description below. And you can join this channel for $2.99 a month, becoming a member. You can get exclusive IGMOs, exclusive access to me, and exclusive videos for becoming a member. Only $2.99 a month. Cancel at any time. And as always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out. All right, y'all, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord and Instagram for even more Day to Zero content. Ask me about my Discord on my Instagram or Twitter. It's only $50 a month or become a member for $2.99 a month to get exclusive IGMOs, exclusive access to me, or you can support me for free simply by pressing like or subscribing. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that do so. And as always, have fun, stay safe, Make money. Peace out.